Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting let's play of Commander the Great War. And when we left off, we just uh, upgraded, I believe, we just upgraded the French army. So now they're up to date, which is excellent. Which means <clears throat> we'll be able to hold the line a lot better uh, than, than we were able to before. Now with machine guns on the front line. And what do we have over here on the Russian front? Looks like we have um, Warsaw in a bit of a predicament. Let's uh, do some repairs here. I think I want a full line of troops here. Yeah. And then we have the armored train. Hmm. Basically, I'm going to use the armored train as a roadblock for anybody that wants to come up with the mental here. It's a big, massive roadblock for them. Oh yeah, we have British artillery and infantry to play. Let's go ahead and do that before I forget. There we go. And when is the French artillery coming out? Two turns. Russian artillery in one turn. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. So the Ottomans are going to enter the war in one to three turns. So I'm going to want to reinforce this area with, I think, probably, yeah, two units, two more units. Um, if we don't, then we might have the Ottomans overrunning Cairo. And Cairo gives us a little bit of... Uh, production points every turn, so I don't want to lose that. If anything, what can we do to hurt the Ottomans here? Yeah, we might be able to take... I don't know. I don't know if we can actually take any of this without a uh, concerted effort. Also, uh, Russia's going to have to do something about her front over here. Uh, all these infantry are going to be going to the northern part of the war. If I went ahead and produced... Let's see here. For Russia. Produced a few garrison units, perhaps. Yeah, a couple garrisons, one there, one there. That would be good. And then maybe a cavalry unit to uh, quick react. And we'll play a defensive war there. I might be able to take Ezer Erzurum. I might be able to take Erzurum. Alright. There. Russians look good. They look solid. Alright, now the Serbians. Oh yeah, we can upgrade units. Okay, Serbia can now upgrade their units as well. So let's upgrade... Let's upgrade that garrison and that... That garrison. It seems like they they like to attack this one for sure. Take that! Wouldn't it be nice if I can take Katero? That would be great. Two production points there. Yeah. Now look at this. Look at this. Straight to Budapest. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> 21 production Vienna. That's crazy. Like 29 production in Berlin. <laughs> nine in London. Nine in Paris. But all like their production is just. Or is that victory points or morale? I don't know. Yeah. Crazy. 
Copenhagen. Okay. Canada's Royal Corps getting deployed. I wonder if I'm just going to move them down here to Cairo. I might. I think we have enough British troops here for now. We'll have three, maybe four units. We can hold like a frontage like that. We're going to have Americans here as well later, and it'll grow over time. Yeah, as long as we don't lose any units, that is. Cool. Yeah, so this should be an interesting turn. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. Take that. Oh, also, I can't move these garrison units. Oh, I can. Never mind. I can move these garrison units. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna move them to Cairo. Probably should have done that a while ago, huh? Hmm. That's gonna be fun. That's going to be very fun. All right. Okay. Production's pretty solid. France. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and end the turn, see what happens. Research has been opened up. Excellent. And there's a shell crisis in Great Britain. The people demand a boost in production. And Turkey has entered the war. Oh, the Ottoman Empire has entered the war, my friends. It's going to be interesting development for sure. Uh, let's see here. Oh, look at all these Russian units to play with. Just in time, too. I just created these garrison units here. There we go. That might help a little bit. Not if they come rushing over the borders in mass, but something. Um, I want to bring the artillery against the Austrians, because I think they are weaker. And yeah, we might be able to do something against them. But I'm going to need to make some kind of front here in order to deal with that. I don't want cavalry coming in and taking out our artillery. 
So. That's a very real possibility that might just happen. They might just come in rushing in and take over our artillery. That was horrible. Uh, Russian ships are just pathetically weak, so I just threw it away. Why pay production uh, points to keep it up? You know, it's just going to cost us a lot of production over time. <sighs> okay, so... Speaking of production, we need to produce, as Great Britain, they need to produce a lot more, um, a lot more ammunition if we're going to do anything. It costs 35 ammunition in order to expand that, though. Serbia looking like here. Yeah, we lost an infantry unit here and a garrison unit in one turn. That really sucked.
do that? Why did I do that? I think this unit's gonna get pummeled to pieces. They're entrenched though, but Clay's gonna fall. Unless I do something about it. Well, I could throw a garrison unit into it. That's gonna have to work for now. Russians lost their pathetic fleet. <laughs> How much does it cost to build those, by the way? <clears throat> 40, of course. It's outlandish and expensive. Mm hmm. Why not? I wish the port slowly repaired ships over time for free. That would be kind of cool. Alright, this is a pretty disappointing turn that we had, I feel. But, uh, I don't know, maybe we can turn some things around. Oh, we don't have any more transport capacity. Uh-huh. Okay, no problem. Okay, units to deploy. Russia. Mother Russia. Alright. We'll probably lose the cavalry, I'm thinking. It's gonna happen. No, no, no. Yeah, Russia's starting to get some units out there. That's good. They're getting 31 per turn still, so they still have plenty of room to grow. Okay. And then research-wise... Let's see. Research-wise, probably focus on attack. For Russia. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. <clears throat> Do your worst.
Artillery and infantry. That wasn't too bad. It looks like the Germans pulled their lines back, and they did reinforce a lot of their units as they fell back. But we have artillery, finally. Yes. Excellent. And that's where I want to attack. Artillery next turn, we should really jack him up. Ooh. Oh, our battleships get a, get a chance to shoot at the uh, Austrian artillery. Or there. I think I want to shoot at their artillery. Yeah, we don't get a lot of chances like that. That's cool. We're probably gonna lose that unit. <laughs> hmm. Okay. My plan is to send one British battleship to the Mediterranean with uh, some more sea power. I think whatever we have here right now is enough to hold everything. So. And once we get British artillery here, things will be much better. Speaking of British artillery... Oh, transports are how many transports you can have on the ocean at one time. That's what that means. So I have a fixed number of transports on the ocean already. Interesting, that's why I can't uh, disembark these guys right now. And these guys as well. That's very interesting, I did not know, know that till now. It makes sense. Yeah, the Russian front. Having garrisons holding those lines is bad. Okay, so the idea is we're going to shell Lemberg to pieces. 
That's the idea. And I need to get infantry set up along there in order to do that. And we'll get entrenchments set up as well. Somalia should be able to hold for now. Ooh. I forgot, we can also upgrade our guys to better defensiveness for Russia. Alright, so next turn we'll just do um, upgrades, do movement with upgrades. And we'll be ready to attack Lemberg. If I take Lemberg, then I can take uh, this city as well. And we can start pushing into Austria and get all this pressure off of Serbia. Like they're gonna do they might do okay with all that entrenchment. I don't know about that artillery though. Ah, oh, this is scary. But uh, Great Britain's convoys should be arriving. I'm hoping that they can hold that these guys lose a lot of people. Okay. So it's end the turn. Here we go. You gonna attack or what? That was pretty massive. Hurt a lot. Uh, the real bad thing is they're hitting my artillery, which really sucks. Um...
I don't know if I can make them pull back. Probably not, and they're gonna hit the artillery again. Because I messed that up too. Oh boy. And Warsaw looks like it's in a gonna be in a fight for its life soon enough. Oh, this is just bad. Really bad. Alright. The odds, they lie! They're lying odds! Alright, so... Merchant's convoy. Really interesting. France hold up. Yeah, we lost a unit, didn't we? Yeah. All right. We're going to attack. Alright, so, France has some unused production, I think we should consider investing in, uh, let's see here. Infantry wise, I think we're doing fine, for the most part, yeah. I think uh, France is going to go ahead and invest in expanding ammunition production. There we go. So we'll start producing more ammunition every turn. And we'll just fling ammunition at the Germans. We'll just continue to pound them to pieces. That sounds good to me. And maybe we can have Great Britain do the same. So we'll just continue to bombard them. We'll sit and play defensive and they can throw their lives away. Alright. Now. What else can we do? They did not do anything, it's good. Russia's gonna have some infantry. I'll have to place them over here. I, I'm really concerned about this artillery. Like, that was a dumb move from me. Incredibly stupid move. I don't think uh, artillery units entrench either. So we should be able to break this pocket here. Should be good. Okay. 
going to get that unit. We're going to sink the German ship. I might have to place units over in Texas. that do exactly again what is it gonna do for us base defense and assault go up no 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 entrenchment level goes up that makes more sense yay and this unit arrived which means next turn we're gonna get 100 production points for the British that's awesome yeah now I need to scout out there it is. Sink it! German ports blockaded. The British have intercepted merchant shipping heading for the German ports and established a blockade in the North Sea. The convoy routes remain blocked until Britain's dominance of the Northern Sea is broken. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right. That's right. These are our waters, our seas. That's right. Feel good about that. Now, back to business here. Hmm. I should probably have the ships scout over here to see if we bring any more forces. And Russia needs to drop another garrison unit. We have infantry ready.
What a mess. <laughs> the Russian front is just a mess. Everywhere is a, it's a mess. It's a mess everywhere. <clears throat> Pillboxes. Huh. Pillboxes would be really good for the Serbians. And Great Britain has more focus, more research to focus on here. Let's see here. Boxes. Armed aircraft. Yeah. And let's see here. For France, she get barbed wire next turn. Uh, armed aircraft for France. That's it for now, for them. They don't have any planes. <laughs> it's not available. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ship some units around, and it's almost time to let's see here. Production for France. Lines are solid, so just produce more infantry. So, that should be good. That should be it. Why is there a dot up there? Hmm. Portugal. Ah, take that. Speaking of German troops, yeah, they're the second type of troop, so they are very good troops. We're also the second type. German artillery is already on uh, hydro pneumatic artillery, though, so they have better artillery than we do. What about their planes? They're on the first type. The planes are no better than ours, but planes kind of suck right now. Okay. The Austrians are also on the second evolution of troops. Try to take that ground if I can. Alright, let's end the turn, see what happens. Oh, yeah, actually, here. Remind me, game. Appreciate that. There we go. Oh, the 
tends to bring quite a bit. Vehicle research is now available. And the Christmas truce. Ooh, oh boy, that was pretty crazy. And uh, you see this uh, bulge here, they're gonna put that to a lot of use. So we need to pull our troops back definitely from that area. like that. Nothing too serious. <clears throat> you see the Ottomans are just pouring in now. That's gonna be a major problem. Need to hold Cairo at all costs. And that looks like a mess. That looks like a hot mess. But you guys uh, will be happy to know that our convoy finally dropped off all those production points. You see Great Britain now has 101. And we have several new convoys on the way. So we'll be reinforcing shortly, which is excellent. Exactly what we need. And the lines are holding. Um, it's December 24th, 1914. The year's almost done. The war's just begun. And we have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, when we come back, we'll be focusing on vehicles. Which would be awesome. So that means... We'll unlock these things. Armored cars. Armor. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Play around with armor. Okay, guys? I'm Ryan House. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned next time, and we'll pick it off from here.